Let's see what this guy's asking. It has a for sale sign, but no price. I decided to just go for it and I got a trade deal made. Let me know if this is a fair trade. Holy biscuits and gravy. Ah, this feels good, guys. Taking the golf cart on the road. I don't have a license plate for it, so technically I'm a little bit illegal, but hey, I'm only going like a quarter of a mile. Not too bad. Boss man, boss man. Thanks for changing your shirt, man. Doesn't feel too weird now. Yeah, but you see a new color I'm still going with. It's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, clean, fluorescent. I think it'll catch some eyes. Yeah, I'm ho hoping the ladies will like it, you know? Okay, real quick. I'm here about five minutes early. I got to run and get some supplies for my house doing a little project. Is that all right if I borrow the trailer? Yes, where are you going for that? Uh, I'm going that strip mall. There's a hardware store next to... It would be next to Morgan's Motors and the bakery. Perfect, perfect. That's why I was asking. Okay, man, this motorcycle over here, it's been leaking oil and oh, stuff. Oh, jeez, you threw some dust on it. Okay, good, yeah. Yeah. Clean that yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it, and do you know anything about these? Because I have no clue how to fix this. I'm not a motorcycle guy. The closest I got to a motorcycle is that golf cart or the Segway I ride around. Yeah, and that's electric. So go take this in. Okay. And it fires just, up and everything, but it yeah, it's just leaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fire it up. Get it out of here as fast as you can. Looks like it's some sort of gasket thing. or something. I'm sure it's not sealed up correctly. Okay, geez, I, I gotta get used to driving this, man. This is I haven't driven a manual before. So yeah, take that in, and then I'll be covering that, of course, and do whatever else you have to do there. 10-4, big cap. What's nice is I just leave my truck hooked up to the trailer because most of the time I'm pulling a trailer. All right, let's see. Drive this up on here. Dude, oh, slow down. Driving a motorcycle out here is scary. There we go. Parker, strap her down. And we're heading out. Heck yeah, that was easy. Let me know what you guys think of a boss man's new truck. I I mean, it's nice. It's clean, but man, it, it's nice scooting around town. But gosh, his other truck was a lot better, I think. Guys, I've been to Morgan's too often. It's not a good sign when you're heading to the auto repair shop over and over. I got some bad luck recently, but at least this one isn't mine. I got to go talk to Morgan real quick. I wonder what it's going to be, but I got the company card, so I'll just pay for it with that. All right. He didn't really know either. He's just going to get back to boss man once they have an idea how much it's going to cost. Now, the reason why I shop at this hardware place, they have lumber and all that, is because you get to use your own forklift. You don't need a forklift license. This is a pretty small one, but they let you use it loaded on your own. And it's like the only place in town that does that. So it's really nice for just getting stuff done. There we go. We can just do this on our own. We don't need an employee. And typically, heck, I can do this better than most employees either way. There we go. Looks good. But the one thing about this forklift is you see I'm tipping here. This is just a bunch of uh two by fours that i'm gonna use for my house building a little project a workbench there we go and we'll get one more here all right let's see load her up real quick and there we go throw some ratchet straps and we're good to go okay that is uh i think I, the really heavy pallet i put way on the end so it's pretty heavy but we're gonna head back and get her done wait guys we never paid for the pallets oh oh no they didn't even come out okay guys situation like this you got to be the bigger person do the right thing and even though they weren't going to say anything and i'm technically stealing them i i gotta pay for them i gotta pay for them now what's nice is they had a 50 percent off discount so they were going to be 300 but it only turned out to be 150 so that was nice there we go remember guys always do the bigger thing in the end it'll all make sense and it'll all work out and it feels good too there we go get her unstrapped real quick the place is looking good. What I'm doing, I'm going to build a picnic table and then I'm going to build like a workbench inside there. I got one, but it already ran out of space. It's more storage right now. I want one, put a bench vice on it and actually like do work on it instead of just store things. All right, man, I got it back. It, it, uh, Morgan's going to call you here this afternoon once he gets a technician on it. Okay, sounds good. So I realize I haven't paid you yet for the parking garage. Let's go. Come over here. Let's go. Dude, I'm starting to get used to this. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, like, it costs you a lot of money at the beginning, right? It's, what, you put in 20 grand? Yeah. But you have pretty much made, like, fraction of that back. Yeah, in like a week. All right. Here's $420. Oh, not as good as yesterday, but yeah, it's still good. Yeah, no, dude. 420 like, not bad at all. Now what I need to do is get back into your truck, and you're going to be picking up a roller and a stump grinder because if you come over here we've always been talking about how annoying this giant hill thing is and it just looks terrible so from this point right here yep all the ways to where your fence is i want you to smooth Whoa. all this out just a gradual slope hey this is uh this is a good foundation for my house yeah well just slope it down okay i don't want my all house water... turned into a mudslide and then all of a sudden my house gets broken out from the foundation and you totaled my house you can leave like a little bit up here but man look at how far your house is from here i know i'm and just trying have... to be safe see you, you can't even jump uh, i guess you, you can't really have a concrete pad that's like, true you're good you're good but yeah just like from here right down to like i want like a little platform still around the water just a flat like how edge. We have it. yep yeah so like start the slope like right here so all this just needs to be knocked down so go pick up that stuff and then come on back here. It's a big roller. Stay out of the water. Is it a big roller? 
roller? Yeah, a big roller. I'm probably going to have to use the tractor, man. Not my pickup oh, yeah. truck. Yeah, you might want to. Yeah, that's probably All right. a good idea. Give me the coordinates. I'll go pick them up. All right. I'll even send you the street name. How about that? I appreciate it. Finally. Guys, usually he's just like, hey, it's next to McDonald's. I'm like, what the heck? There's three McDonald's in town. Here we go. And he gave me the right address. And we got the ramps down. Should be good. What's really nice is it's like 2 p.m. So it's after the, the lunch rush. Everybody going out to get lunch. And before like the 5 p.m. lunch or the 5 p.m. rush. So little bit of traffic, which is perfect for hauling this stuff. Now, the only thing is we can get the roller on here, which these rollers are not light if you didn't know. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get the skid steer on as well. At the same time, we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best for sure. All right, roll it up on here. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. All right, we're going to see if we can park it there. And then we're going to see if we can put the skid steer on the backside. And yes, we're going to be overloaded, but don't worry, guys. All right, that looks good to me. Just a little overhang and watch your head. If you're if I'm driving by you, just get out of the way, man. All right, there we go. It looks like we're taking off. All right, the roller got situated. Okay, still a little sloppy there, but guys, we're moving. We're good to go. All right, guys, I was going to pull in there, but then I forgot. Wait, we have like the smaller gates now that we redid, redid the fence, which I wish they were a bit bigger, but no worries. I'll just pull back here. All right, boss man, just made it back. I'm going to get work working on it okay sounds good i'm just working on this infotainment system people keep coming in and like messing up everything putting like weird profile names are you sure i haven't seen anybody come in i think it was that crazy Haley you had here the oh, other day that bestie girl yep yep bestie we gotta start calling each other that uh yeah i'm good all right man i'm gonna get to work you keep fiddling with your car okay why don't you get one of these sold here i'm trying man i'm trying Right. They're not going to get sold unless I do all this like little work. So. True. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you something. I'll come back. We can have yeah, some lessons yeah, for yeah. you. Okay. Get to it, man. All right. Let's see if we can. There we go. Drive right out of there. That's why it's nice to have the zero turn. And now the roller. This will help with final grade. And we have a bucket for the skids here as well. Okay. Hopefully we don't go into the water right here. It's not too steep of a drop. There we go. Well, I guess first things first is we're going to need to take out this tree for sure. So I'll get cutting this down. Then we'll take out the stump. There we go. Clean up the branches. Get her all trimmed up here. Let's see. Can the Kubota climb it? Come on, Kubota. There we go. All right, the tracks probably helped a bit there. Okay, we're going to knock out this stump. Don't know if we're going to take down that tree. We might end up taking down the tree, but for right now, we're just taking out this guy. Okay, it's kind of hard working on this slope. The skits here wants to keep sliding backwards. Now we're in the roller, and we're going to try and flatten up some of these spots here that are a little rough. Then we'll get up there and start working the slope, get the skid steer bucket and all that stuff. Here we go, man. This thing's a beast. Just coming up on here. We're just kind of prepping the surface, get her all flattened out here. Heck yeah, it feels weird. It kind of feels like I'm a... Like a, maybe a snail or something or a worm or a snake. It feels like I'm a snake. The way the roller kind of works, it's not like a typical car where it drives. It kind of has a little light. It's like steering a boat kind of. You got to steer before it moves and stop steering before it's done turning, if that makes sense. All right. I would say that looks pretty good. I think boss man would be happy. Okay. Let's just here. This is probably a good spot to park it. There we go. Shut her down. All right. I'm going to go get boss man. See what he thinks of it. Then we can get the equipment out of here because it costs money to rent it. Yo, boss man. Where you at? Oh, there you are. What's up? I didn't see you blended in with the blue Mercedes. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Come, You're done. Come take a look, man. All right, let's go check this thing out. Ooh, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works really good. And then I was thinking... If you're happy with it, well, uh, I better take those rental machines back here, too. Oh, where's man? my roller? Oh, oh, no, there's my roller. What did you do? I, I swear, man, I hit the parking brake, and I parked it right up here, what? and it must have rolled down. You parked it on the hill? No, like on the top where it's kind of flat. Clearly not flat enough. Man, this is oh, no. so Oh, no, hey, expensive. hey, hey, the engine's in the back. The engine is in the back, so we have a chance. The back is in the water, man. Well... I had it turned off, and so we don't know if it's going to start back on because it's not like it shut off on its own. Okay, how, how are we going to get this out of here? Well, I'm in the cab now, and I can breathe. I'm actually There's doing no something. There's no way you're going to be able to drive Look this Look at that. Out. The hazards work. We still got electricity. Man, the air intake what? is above water, too. What the heck? Just barely. You better be able to get this thing out. There we go. I this got her started. Coming. Okay. It might not run for long. Come on. Man. There's no way it's going to be Come able to get on. out. It's a roller. Get the tractor. Get the tractor or something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where do I attach it? This is like the heaviest There's got to be a hook or something back there. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. Look at that. Not even a scratch on her. What did you do? They're going to know that this was in the water. <laughs> oh, we just... The sun's out. Open up the windows. Get the fan going. AC in there. And then uh, we'll just say we washed it. Like, it literally looks cleaner than it did before. So, we, pretty, we gave it a bath. Okay. 
you're going to be paying for these extra hours since now we need this thing to dry out. Okay, fair this enough, fair ridiculous. enough. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. This could be a lot worse. I agree, I agree. They say anything's damaged, though. That We're going to have to talk about that one then. Here, cause... let me jump in. We'll check all the electrical stuff. Okay, let's go hazards, lights, on lights, high beams. Like, Did that all work? This is reckless, man. Okay, reverse lights on, works, brake lights. Uh, Yeah, what? Okay, honest mistake, man. But hey, we just got to go to the rental place. We're going to be like, yo, nothing happened. We washed it. It's all good. Yeah, you're going to go there and you're going to do that. And you're going to tell me if there's any issues. Okay. Uh, Sure. 10 4. Uh huh. I got your card, right? Yep. Thanks. All right, guys, the roller's working so far, and that's all that matters. I think if I get it to the rental shop, if I say, like, hey, nothing happened, it's all clear, and then, like, a month or two goes down, and they figure something out or something, they're probably going to blame it on somebody else. That's kind of what I'm banking on. Oh, wait, before we leave, boss man's got to pay me for today's work. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Hello. I'm going to need, uh, before I head out, I'm going to need some pay, man. I got to pay you for breaking my stuff? No, nothing's broken just yet. I just want to get paid for all the work that I did. That looks really good, don't you think? You are ridiculous. Okay, fine. I even seeded it down, so yeah, grass should be growing yeah, in a couple yeah. months. Da, 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 da. I don't care. I hate that I have to pay you today. Okay, uh, $5? Uh, yep, 500 That works perfect. No, Thank no, you. no, no. Here's... Two hundred and twenty-three dollars. Perfect. That works, man. All right, I'm gonna go bring that back. Yeah, and if if there's any issues and they start charging me, I want to see that money right back in my hands. All right, guys, we're gonna get this delivered back. Thank you so much for watching. We got the pond all done. We did a lot of stuff today. A lot of stuff. Looks like he's shutting down the shop. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Peace out, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey.